Agility in robotics is a key research area. This month, we saw some great examples of robots capable of navigating through tight spaces. We start with a great example inspired by nature. Developed by the Beijing Institute of Technology, the rat Squirrow, the robot can walk, crawl, climb over objects, and turn sharply with great agility. Researchers first used x-rays of real rats to better understand the animal's anatomy. They then designed Squirrow to have a similar structure, movement patterns, and degrees of freedom. As a result, the robot can overcome obstacles 30 millimeters high, or 33% of its own height. The next robot, developed by the Suzumori Endo Lab, can also move through tight spaces. The robot can move forward in an unknown space as it recognizes and adapts to the spatial shape of the environment. The key feature of this robot is its tensegrity structure that allows it to actively generate propulsive force as it presses its body against a wall in its surrounding environment. It includes a novel artificial muscle arrangement that induces large deformation in the tensegrity structure. The muscle arrangement allows the displacement in the axial and radial directions. Robots can also help us move objects where no one can. For example, inside our body. Check how this robotic arm is guiding a soft and thin magnetic wire through arteries and vessels by using magnetic actuators. This system, developed by MIT, aims to help surgeons quickly and remotely treat patients experiencing a stroke or aneurysm, clearing clots. With a modified joystick, Surgeons in one hospital may control a robotic arm at another location to safely operate on a patient during a critical window of time that could save the patient's life and preserve their brain function. DARPA is now sending high-speed autonomous vehicles off-road. Last year, we saw how autonomous vehicles captured NASCAR. Today, they start a three-year journey, pushing the limits of all-terrain racing. This video shows a test of autonomous off-road driving conducted by University of Washington researchers. Compared to on-road driving, off-road terrain lacks man-made structure and contains challenging features, including vegetation, uneven and low-friction surfaces, reduced visibility, and rapidly changing terrain surface properties. Researchers aim to improve existing approaches to perception, planning, and control. And we finish by bidding farewell to a robot that marked an era in robotics. Honda's Asimo humanoid robot has done its last performance at the Honda showroom in Tokyo. After more than 20 years of working, including research and development, Honda has stopped Asimo development in favor of working on robots with more practical applications. During its performance in Honda showroom, Asimo surprised all of us with its impressive technical development. Asimo was capable of running, jumping, using stairs, and interacting with objects and people. Throughout the years, Asimo kept adding new functionalities, traveling around the world, and showing a glimpse of the future. Asimo embodies the promise of a friendly and helpful humanoid robot, inspiring a generation and many robots that since have come. It dares us to dream and achieve the impossible. Thank you, Asimo, and every researcher that worked on this amazing project.